follow Sports View London. Okay, come in, Isha. I still say that. I will talk to you in a sec. Johnny, first of all, how excited are you about this event? Look at all the people out there. It's fantastic. You know, it's a sea of people. Uh, the O2 this weekend is going to be absolutely banging. And of course, we all come back to support our boy, uh, Anthony Joshua, hoping he puts the show for us and sends us home with a massive smile on our face. But I reckon this could be one of the best heavyweight fights we've seen for the last 15 years. Two unbeaten young bucks, no disrespect, old man. Uh, two unbeaten young bucks <laughs> fighting for a world title and they're both bangers. So I think we're going to get a complete drama tomorrow night. Glenn McCrory, you've worked with us for a quarter of a century now. You've seen some of the biggest heavyweight fights in history. Of course, you, you spar with Mike Tyson back in the day. Lennox Lewis, you followed his career. Tyson Fury last year beating Vladimir Klitschko, a huge triumph. How big a moment would it be if Anthony Joshua can pull this off for British boxing tomorrow night? I think it'll be one of the, the biggest moments in British heavyweight boxing in the last 20 years. I think it's the start of a journey. And I started on my journey with Sky Sports with Lennox Lewis as a, as a youngster all those, time, all those years ago. So I think this could be as exciting, even more exciting than the journey that Lennox had because I think Andy Joshua is, is a great, great fighter. But I think this is a very, very tough fight that may, may, hopefully not, but may just have come a bit too soon. <coughs> Well, we'll, we'll soon find out. Let's bring Spencer Oliver in. You've seen many of the great fights over the years. Spencer, I know you're a real analyst and, and you've looked at the tactical uh, strengths of both yeah, fighters. But, um, How do you see this uh, unfolding Saturday night in the O2? Well, uh, I agree with a little bit with Shannon. I think that if um, Charles Martin can take um, Joshua into the second half of the contest, then we've got a fight. But can he do that? I'm not so sure. I think that Joshua's style is perfect for um, Charles Martin. I believe that Joshua will get the job done and again it done inside the distance. Now I know he hasn't boxed any southpaws as a professional but he's had a great amateur career and that will stand him in good stead and I think the last fight against Dillian White will stand him in good stead as well because he had to come through some sticky moments and that's good and that's put him in the right preparation for this contest. So I believe that Joshua wins a fight and wins it inside the distance. Kevin Mitchell, great to see you. What a fighter Kevin was, what great fights he gave us here at the O2. Recently retired and doesn't he look well. Kevin, I uh, was speaking to Charles Martin earlier today and one thing he mentioned to me was his chin. The fact that he's never been, according to him and his camp, wobbled, hurt, down as a pro or as an amateur or in sparring and psychologically he believes that's an advantage going into this fight having seen Joshua hurt against Dylan White and stopped in the amateurs what would you say to that? I just think he's going to struggle with basically Joshua's hand speed his fast movements I've watched him fight this, this kid and he's, he's a good fight he's not world champion for, no, for nothing but he makes clumsy movements so I think when he makes his clumsy movements Joshua makes a jump on that I don't see it going past four hands Four rounds for Joshua. I fancy he could go early. I think he could, he could go up. Like, I'll fight a bet. I'll bet one or two. But I, 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 I fancy inside four hands. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, uh, Johnny, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone here is, is obviously very pro Anthony Joshua. You spent some time with Charles Martin in Big Bear. What did you learn about him? Because there seems to be a mystique about how good he really is. He and, he and uh, Anthony Joshua actually cut from the same cloth. Um, when we filmed the gloves are off, uh, it's the things you didn't see uh, behind the scenes that are, are really telling about both fighters. And Charles Martin tried to step up to Anthony Joshua to say, "Listen, this is no game." And you can always sense when someone's talking a bit of BS. These guys are for real, and that's why when they get in the ring to fight, there's going to be no nonsense, no pretense. I do believe that uh, Charles Martin, fitness-wise, is, is on point. When I saw him up there, I was so impressed with, with how much fitness work he was putting into it. But so is Anthony Joshua. His loose language, uh, um, southpaw style, will create problems for Anthony Joshua. But Anthony's speed should be the key. Speed is always the key. But, but Charles Martin has that slick boxing style, which always gives most fighters a problem. And that's what uh, Anthony's got to cut down and cut down quick. Glenn, you mentioned uh, Lennox Lewis. Of course, we've had Frank Bruno in recent times. <laughs> David Hay and now Tyson Fury <laughs> really flying the flag for, for Britain. How good can Anthony 
Anthony Joshua become? And do you think when this is all said and done in a year, two years, three years, that this heavyweight mix at the moment, that he's going to be the one that's standing? I think tomorrow will tell us an awful lot, but certainly what he's done in such a short time to, to become the Olympic super heavyweight champion, and then in such a short time to, to be here fighting for the IBF heavyweight championship of the world, shows that he's made fantastic progress. He lives the life, you know, he's got a dream, he looks in, in perfect, perfect shape, looks fantastic. So I think he could probably be the, the best of them all if if he can get things right but i've been around tyson and he's tasted in his early days and we never thought mike tyson would ever lose at that point you know when he's fighting terrell biggs and larry holmes but then he went on and it became a car crash so it does happen we've seen lennox get knocked out we've seen lots of fighters happen so you know he's got to be on his game he's got to be at his very best and he's got to fight a smart fight he can't let his emotion get to him because you know he's stepping up a, a level here, so he's gonna he's gonna fight his perfect fight, but I think he could potentially be the best of them all. Follow Sports View London.